Delusions are characteristic feature of severe sort of mental disease called psychosis. Let's first figure out what is the difference between neurosis and psychosis. Psychosis. Both of them are a type of mental disease but neurosis is a mild form of mental disease and psychosis is a severe form of mental disease. And in neurosis the person would retain the contact with reality and he would know he can differentiate between the good things and bad things and he could the differentiate between real and unreal things that means the person is having insight to himself and in psychosis the person is detached from reality he couldn't um, differentiate between reality and non-reality that means the person is not having insight so delusion is a uh, type of psychosis person doesn't know what is real and unreal and about the neurosis for example a person is a cocaine abuser and he's hallucinating at that time uh, he might think that whatever thing is happening with him shouldn't happen with a normal person that means he's having insight and knows that what are the things that should happen to him and what are the things that shouldn't happen to him there's a difference between neurosis and psychosis before we really uh, define what are delusion, let's look at this uh, nasty example. This patient might come to a doctor and show her middle finger and tell that this is my penis. In spite uh, of all efforts the doctor will make uh, to convince her that this is not your penis, this is your finger, you might even show uh, x-ray to her that this x-ray is having bones and penis doesn't have bone you try to convince her and end up asking that what is this she would tell this is my penis and if you persuade her more and, and force her to believe she might even tell don't force me otherwise i'll poke this penis inside your mouth so she, she will try to um, scare people while uh, showing uh, her finger thinking that this is her penis so now let's define what are delusion delusion and this sort of delusion delusion are called dysmorphic type of dysmorphic type of delusion so now let's define what are delusion these are false and firm belief in spite of having highest evidence to contrary you were having an evidence um, that you showed her an x-ray uh, x-ray and she then also she denied to believe that that was her finger and obviously that thoughts shouldn't have origin from social religious or cultural belief for example an islamic person tends to say that uh, it says that whenever I pray namaz, I, I tend to see a spiritual personality is blessing me. Even when you have a proof that there is no such thing, you cannot call that person as a patient of delusion because that thoughts are having origin from religion. So this is how you define delusion. Let's look at the different example of delusion. This is a classical picture showing that you are something, you are something and you feel something. And these are the grandiose type of delusion. Grandiose type of delusion. Uh, these 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 would say that hey friends uh, today is my birthday and I am throwing a party to you people uh, you people are invited to Andaman and Nicobar don't worry I have uh, booked private uh, jets for all of you they would pick you uh, by your terrace and you would fly there by 6:30 and I have called Mr Narendra Modi as a chief guest and I will gift you all of you with 10 acres of land so by listening these sort of things that it is obviously not real these patient are having grandiose type of delusion they have a delusion of wealth some patient have <coughs> paranoid type of delusion this is called paranoid this patient tends to always believe that someone is chasing her she would come to a doctor and say that hey doctor i feel that always somebody is following me especially cops and they are planning a conspiracy against me and whenever I, whenever my mother tries to give me good food stuff i i eat first and then then tend to believe that maybe she is also communicating with cops and, and and she would end up asking that hey you doctor you i hope you don't have a recording device you're not recording me you will not send that recording device to cops so that they can catch me and they will uh, and these sort of patient might even run away from doctor uh, suspecting them as a cop
so these sort of delusions are called paranoid delusion obviously you should rule out that that patient is not a uh, most wanted person in that state these are called paranoid delusion uh, this is delusion of jealousy a person uh, a husband might feel that uh, his wife is cheating on her and he would always tend to follow her obviously you should rule out that wife is not really cheating him and this is very interesting type of delusion these are called clinical lycanthropy these person tend to believe that they transform into an animal and they would act uh, like animal at that time like a wolf or maybe a bear they would uh, take a pose of that animal and try to scream like in a way animal does scream and this is a false belief and uh, if you try to convince them they would deny and they would have a firm belief on that uh, this girl might uh, say that uh, the person behind the mirror is looking like me but uh, she is not me and in spite of having contrary proof that and you try to convince her and she would end up in telling that she is not me I had different and she is also different you miss identification sort of delusion and this is a uh, uh, cap, cap cross type of delusion cap grass type of in which a wife believe uh, let's say a wife believe that this person does look like my husband but he is actually a duplicate of my husband she would tend to believe that he is a humshakal sort of thing that this husband is not my husband and he is a duplicate of husband this is a false belief and firm belief so this were the type of delusions and hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching